Okay, we're going to use a measuring cycle for the center of this round part. We have rough centered the probe that we made out of a macro block and a tooling ball over the center of the part. And it does tell you how to calibrate and find the center of the tooling ball in the directions. Come over to the control and we go to the measure screen, measure, center external, and we want to approximately have a 1.5 inches off to the side clearance on our part in both X and Y since it's a round part, 1.5. And then in Z, we want to go down the side and measure approximately minus 0.5 once we touch the top of the part. Enter that in there and our clearance across the top we will say is 0.5 inches. And we are ready to go. We hit the green button here and it will start the measurement cycle. It will go down and touch the top and of course the part has to be clean or it will air out. So it's checking it three times and it has to be within two tenths of uh, position every time it checks it. It's going over, it will check the side. Checking the y-axis now. I always run this program twice when I am centering something just to make sure I've got it as close as it can possibly be. go back and it will be the center of the part and it will stop and then we come back here we say set X and we put zero in there and it will zero out the control and we say set Y zero enter and you can set Z if you're using a tooling ball and an electrode offset program but we typically just touch the electrode off so that's the measurement cycle on how to do it, you can use many other measurement cycles. This is where you find your reference ball size and set it up, center external corners, center, many different versions here of measuring.